Hi, I'm Brendan, Project Engineer at ION, the Region of Waterloo's Light Rail Transit Service. I'm here beside the ION stop at Research and Technology to explain how ION trains will be powered. The ION trains are powered by electricity. This electricity comes from the utility companies as high voltage alternating current. But to power the engine and the equipment on our ION trains, we require direct current at a lower voltage. To do this, we need to transfer the high voltage alternating current that comes from the utility company to low voltage direct current. We do this in a structure called a traction power substation, or TPSS. These substations contain many pieces of equipment to make the conversion happen. This equipment includes a transformer and a rectifier. From the TPSS, power runs to the overhead catenary lines, the electric wires, along the ion route. These wires are built above the track on poles that are generally 21 feet tall, about the size of a regular hydro pole. There are two stacked wires on the catenary pole above the track. The bottom wire is called the contact wire. This is the wire that carries electricity from the TPSS to the ion train. The top wire is called the messenger wire. It helps keep the contact wire in place. To transfer electricity from the contact wire to the train, ion vehicles are equipped with a pantograph that sits on the top of each train. The pantograph looks a little like a coat hanger. This pantograph presses against the contact wire. This is where power is transferred to the train. So there you have it. This is how we get you moving on ION to where you need to go in and around Waterloo Region. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you catch us next time for another Ask ION.